Here's the last photo I took, and this is of a cactus blooming in my yard. Uh, this past weekend, we all went to Bodega Bay and just did a whole bunch of shrooms. We were high on Molly, and we went to the beach, so I found a crab, and um, it was all kind of like in different pieces, so I put it back together, and I thought it was really cool, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my husband's gravestone, and uh, he's been gone five years. So I, that particular day I had gone with my grandson and my son, and uh, we just enjoy going there. I sent my friend a picture of a deli slicer that I bought, and I have a shitload of beef. So I'm going to roast a lot of it and make sandwiches. This is a picture on my dining room wall of a beautiful, gorgeous goddess. And you should just zoom in and see this because this is a stunning picture. And I literally sent it out to a bunch of my friends as inspiration. So I'm a criminal defense investigator and this is inside the public defender's office. We were on the last day of a trial. It was a meth involved type of thing. I just took the picture to text to my, <laughs> to my new girlfriend so she didn't think that I was with some other chick at the time. Last photo I took on my phone was a picture of my bracelets because I'm working on the website. I make them all by hand. They take about three to five minutes. In Hawaii, I've been arrested twice. I'm wanted for, they want me in jail in Hawaii for making bracelets. The last photo was of Daisy. She's a stripper at the Lusty Lady. I was assisting on a photo essay and um, it's pretty special because the Lusty Lady is going out of business. It's one of the only unionized strip clubs. And it's sad. I'll definitely be back there before they close. It's my friend Katie and Louisa's wedding yesterday. They're feeding each other cake. They got married at City Hall. Um, it's pretty awesome. I took a picture of uh, something that looked like E.T. and I told my wife her head looks just like that when she got really pissed. My wife's Korean and they tend to have large. So I took this picture of that street sign over there. Um, I thought it was funny. It says Beach Blanket Babylon Boulevard. I thought it was a good name. That was a bad one night stand. <laughs> that didn't end good. Now she's a stalker. <laughs> and I looked at the picture and I said, uh, wow, I look like a hunk. He and I have a great time. We always laugh. We speak in French. And for some reason, I'm wittier in French than I am in English. I don't know why. Or maybe he just thinks I am. So that's my story. It's a, it's a photo of uh, me and friends that I have known for 47 years. And we happen to be together for a reunion. We were Peace Corps volunteers in Bolivia. Really beautiful. It's really beautiful. I'm fascinated by this young man who was uh, on the corner panhandling, I guess, and it seems to become becoming a little fashion trend, actually. Oh, it's on my old Fiat. I'm, I'm restoring an old Fiat, so I took a picture of my old Fiat. Uh, so this is a picture of my beloved van, Conrad, uh, going up in flames. Uh, we had pulled over from uh, driving down from San Francisco on our way to a music festival. We came out and uh, the van was on fire, but the silver lining of the story is the kindness that people showed us. Um, people offering us rides, people offering us money, people offering us the truck stop, giving us showers and letting us do our laundry. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was heartwarming.